me and Fern. I am currently house-sitting in Oxford with Fern and Gus the Black Lab and obviously Harley's here. But yeah, I did house-sit in New York in the middle of my trip to the US for my cousin's wedding. I pet-sat for my friends Liz and Lauren. Um, I got to see some of my friends. I was only there for a long weekend. Um, so it did go by pretty quickly and I was exhausted from wedding stuff and family stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a short one. But before I came to Oxford, I decorated the coffee bar for Halloween. And I did get some new pieces while I was in the US. So it is a pretty exciting one this year. So that will be after the New York City house sit. Oh, Fern, you're so cute, little Fern. Okay, now cut from one small dog to another small dog. Oh my god, you're so tiny. You're so tiny. <laughs> uh, hello, and welcome to a new house sitting vlog. This is Larry Sue Bird. <laughs> Hun, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I am house sitting in Brooklyn for my friends Lauren and Liz. I'm looking after Larry Suber, Tom, who just walked across, and Ernest, who I think is probably hiding in the closet. Well, not even hiding. It's not that he doesn't like me. He just loves to hang out in the closet. You, Tom needs all the attention all the time. How dare I be doing anything else, right? Uh, yeah, so I'm here for a long weekend. I'm back in New York for a little bit. Um, if you're new here, I did used to live in New York um, before I moved back to England. She is so funny. You're so funny, Larry. Uh, Larry is a little rescue from Puerto Rico. Tom, give her space. So yeah, I have been here for a couple of days, but I've been working from home and honestly, I haven't done that much, but it is the weekend. So this morning I took Larry to Prospect Park. She wasn't really a fan. <laughs> She's definitely, like, they don't let her off yet. Um, I think they've only had Larry for a year. Larry wasn't a massive fan of Prospect Park. We just sat on a bench and we watched the other dogs playing. Um, she was very nervous. She was a nervous girl. She did well. Um, and by the end, she was, like, loving it and really interested in what everyone else was doing. Oh, yes, hello, I'm so sorry. Am I giving Larry attention? Yeah, so I took Larry to Prospect Park for off-leash hours this morning. Then I went to Starbucks because I wanted a pumpkin cream cold brew. This is now the third time I've been to Starbucks and they have been out of pumpkin. And then I got Bagel from Bagel Pub. And we've just been hanging out here for a little bit. I showered, washed my hair. And now I think I'm gonna go into Manhattan. I'm gonna go meet Lizzie and Daniela uh, for drinks later. Okay, I'll put you down. Um, but that's all I have planned. Just hanging out. I can never 
The cats have decided now would be a good time to wrestle. I just got home. I don't, I don't think I vlogged anything. I was in Manhattan. I was walking around Soho. I've got my motion sickness bands on because I had to take an Uber home and it was not pleasant. I get car sick. And honestly, I'm not that bad anymore, but like if it's a bad driver where they're just like, I can't even do the motion right now, but like, Break, go, break, go. Um, I just feel ill. So, I'm just sitting here. I mean, I've also had alcohol, which doesn't help. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's in Manhattan. Um, just, just having a little moo moo -sharoo. I got a thank you card for Matt and Dee to say thanks for staying at theirs. I got something for Bean, which I think is cool just as decoration in his house mostly because i want it but it doesn't go with my theme okay and then i went to actually before i went to the gallery i went to... there's a cute little antique bookstore but it's only cookbooks and things kind of related to cookbooks so there's like a few etiquette books so i went in there to see if she had any antique books on coffee she did not several on tea but not coffee um but all of her books were like minimum $300. It was a bit insane. So then I went next door to the gallery, saw Lizzie, saw Melanie, saw the new art show, which Lizzie, I think was quite passionate about this one. And she was explaining to me like what each piece is. It's very cool. And one of the series is like, I don't really understand it. Bitcoin, pa Bitcoin papers or something? Bitcoin pages? I don't know. Um, but they're like all stretched out and it's like digital. And then there were, there was another series, which is poetry and you can't actually see the poetry, but it's like each line of the poem and each letter is stretched. But that was originally, it was just the poem typed out. So I thought that was quite cool. One of them was an Emily Dickinson poem. Um, and the artist brought in like all these books that relate to each series. There's stuff on dark matter. There's a series um, on the special type of mushroom that's in The Last of Us, where they have like the networks. So there are a few books on, ah, Larry, no. I saw that. I had to order food because we didn't really have food. Um, I was at the gallery and then we went for wine, but we didn't get pizza. <laughs> She's got wine and like some garlic bread and meatballs and that was it. And I met Daniela. So Lizzie and I went and then Daniela came. But yeah, we had a great time catching up. And then on the way home, I was like trying to order food in the Uber, but also trying not to read because that makes me feel ill. So I got stickies, but I don't really, like, I don't really feel like it. So I'm just eating Cheez-Its and watching Drag Race and I just, I'm gonna have to stay up for an hour or two until I feel better. Little Larry is very excited that I'm home. And little Larry would love to steal some stickies, wouldn't you? Yeah. Larry, no. Really, Tom? Yeah. You cannot have any stickies, Larry. No.
go sleep. Go sleep now. Night night. Okay, I cannot believe it's already October. We are decorating the coffee bar for Halloween very late. I've just had so much going on that I haven't had time. I'm also not gonna be here because I'm about to leave to go house sit in Oxford um, and then I'll be back for the very end of October. But yeah, I got all of the Halloween decorations out. I have uh, an excessive amount at this point, but I love it. So we're gonna make a pumpkin spice cream cold brew like the pumpkin cream cold brew at Starbucks, except I know the recipe to make it at home is you're supposed to use pumpkin puree, but I don't have that and that seems, I, I don't know, just a little bit much. So I'm just gonna use pumpkin spice syrup and whip with the Oatly Whippable, just like I did with the salted caramel one that you can make at home. That is in the Taylor Swift Bachelorette video if you haven't seen it. So we're gonna make one of those and then decorate for Halloween. The coffee bar has some of the Halloween mugs on here, but not all of them. It doesn't have any decorations. So we're doing the pumpkin spice cream cold brew. I do have cold brew in the fridge that I brewed a couple days ago. We need reusable filter. I've just realized that we still have butterflies from the spring decorations, the spring summer decorations, so those can come off and be put away. Butterflies removed. Let's get the cold brew. So here's my jar of cold brew. So you're supposed to do, I think it's one part coffee, eight parts water. I think this is particularly strong because I got carried away with grinding beans. I forgot you're supposed to get it wet first. Okay, I forgot, with the reusable cotton coffee filters, you need to wet them, usually with warm or hot water. I don't know why. I think it makes the cotton expand or something so the coffee can filter through, but okay. Now we pour the coffee. Let that brew. Okay, so I buy Oatly Whippable, which also makes this dairy-free, which is great. Um, Oatly Whippable just makes it like the, the cold foam that you get at Starbucks. So I put a little bit in the milk frother. When I was with Ben, and we were at HomeSense buying Halloween decorations, he wanted pumpkin spice syrup for when he comes here and has a coffee, which is what? Once, twice a year. <laughs> So he made me get this massive bottle of pumpkin spice syrup. I don't love pumpkin spice, but you know, tis the damn season. So I add a few splashes of that. I'm gonna add some more coffee to drip through. Okay. Then I'm gonna set this to whip. Uh, so there are a few things on here that need to be moved. Um, this I think is the dog donut that we got from a pet store in Cape May. Yeah. Oh dear, do you think you need a biscuit? Okay, coffee. Then my pumpkin spice oatly whippable. Oh, that's not. It should be thicker than that. I think because the syrup was so watery. Okay, well. Ah. And now we have a nice pumpkin spice beverage for decorating. Oh, it's very pumpkin spice. I would like the cream to be thicker. I don't know why it didn't whip as thick. Um, okay, so where do we even start? I can see another bloody butterfly from spring. So that can come off. This, uh, someone put on the coffee bar because it's from my granny's house. My granny just moved into a care home. I mean, I like, I know it's an antique, but I don't like it. I don't like when people have Asian antiques. Like, I think it's weird. 
uh, if it's like not from your culture or your history. So I don't know where to put that. Uh, another bloody butterfly that can come off. I don't know how I missed these butterflies. The syrups up here, I don't love. So I'm probably gonna take these down and put them in the cupboard. Um, but also that means that we'll have a clear canvas up top, which is what I would like. Uh, salted caramel and toffee nut syrups could go over here. And then this book, I feel like it looks, it's one of these big storage book things. Uh, it looks a bit weird up there by itself. We'll get the rest of the decorations out and see. Um, and then this, some fudge from Cape May. And these will probably move around. The coffees on display at the moment are Salty Siren. These are the Bones coffee uh, variety packs that I got because I just love the cartoons on them. And Salted Caramel. I do want those on display, they're good. Okay, I don't even know where to start because I have so much Halloween stuff now. I have new things from my re most recent trip to the US. Um, the US just have better Halloween decorations. Like, have you been in Michael's? Michael's is amazing. This is a gift that Andrew got me. He got it for the coffee bar, which I thought was so sweet. So, and I think they're so like creepy looking. They're wooden, which I love. This guy with actual barbed wire hands. <laughs> um, and then this guy. So I definitely want to incorporate them in the coffee bar. And then we've also got some Halloween napkins that he got me, so very sweet. Um, okay. They're probably not gonna stay there. I probably will put them, ooh, in a mug? No. I don't actually know where all the Halloween mugs are. I think they might be in the boxes. Okay. Should we go through the boxes? Petra, I don't, <laughs> Petra is here. And she's so interested. Come here. Up, up. Oh, pesky boo. Oh, you good girl. Okay. Also, I don't know where this is going to go, but when the kids were here, Kyrie insisted on getting this. And it is... I mean, first of all, we love Stitch, and it's Halloween Stitch. Is it my Halloween type of stuff? No, but it is kind of creepy, because listen. What do you think it says? But the kids said it sounded like die, die. Which... Honestly, it does. Don't know where Stitch is gonna go. Not with the coffee bar, probably. Love these. These are my gargoyles that I got at home last year or the year before. So these definitely, because um, they're great for adding height up there. What else have we got? <gasps> no! I don't know if you heard that smash, but I have smashed a Joanna Parker piece, so that's not great. I don't know why it was inside the mug, but. Okay, so I have these spiderweb mugs that I quite like. Oh, I'm upset. It was a pair, so I have got two of them. So this little guy, and then I've also got this Joanna Parker mug that I got in Salem last year. Okay, then I've also got these Joanna Parker pieces which I got in Salem last year. And I like having these scattered throughout the shelves. So like one there, one down here. I don't know that I want this. I could put candy corn in it, I guess. We'll see. We have the Headless Horseman. I do think because it's dark, it should go up there. So then it's on a brighter background and then maybe this comes down here. I have this little cat that hangs off mugs. Well, it's supposed to hang off a candle. It's actually from Bath and Body Works. And it's supposed to be a candle hanger, but I obviously use it. Oh, 
Also, I will probably rearrange this 500 times before it's actually how I want it to be. So this is the black pumpkin casserole dish, which is from Next. So one thing I did want to do this year, and I can't remember where I saw it, it was either on like Pinterest or something, uh, but I wanted to fill this with coffee beans and then put tea light candles in it. So it wafts the coffee aroma. So I'm gonna do that. But then what do I do with the lid? Because I like the lid. Uh, I'd really like to incorporate this, um, maybe there, my stackable mugs, which I actually already have my other one out, uh, these are the other stackable mugs, love them, I use them mostly when I use the uh, espresso machine, okay also something I got this year in Michaels, this crow, Um, I mean, I know I'm gonna rearrange this so many times. Um, okay, this is gonna take me a while, so we'll come back when I'm somewhat finished. Um, okay, there's so much Halloween stuff, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I guess anything that doesn't go on here will end up going somewhere else in the house. Um, I got these this year I think I got them in June when I was in the US these are from at home but I thought these would look really cool hanging down but yeah I guess they don't come that far down I wasn't sure if they were gonna block other stuff <gasps> yay okay also I've just seen <laughs> I've put this sign here but I don't like that you can see the back of it because it is this sign uh, can I twist it? No. Okay, well then that will be moving. Okay, we're getting somewhere, not really sure where. Uh, this section was added on recently, so I have my, I forgot what this is called. Oh, a Welsh dresser. This is an antique Welsh dresser that I use for the coffee bar. And then I also have this other antique piece that, I don't know, I can't remember what it was for. But this was added on for the espresso machine and coffee bean grinder because uh, when my cousin Mia was coming, her husband loves espresso, so I felt like we needed one of these and then also I wanted one, so. <laughs> so in this add-on area, uh, I've put some gothic florals here. Um, you can't really see this currently because of the reflection from the conservatory because it's still daylight, uh, but this is my... <laughs> My bag from Gideon's Bakehouse in Disney Springs. I loved Gideon's so much, so I put it in an uh, antique looking frame uh, and put it up here and I love it. And then on here I also have my, my Gideon's Bakehouse candle, which is in the flavor Morning Joe, as in like morning. And it smells like coffee and it's so good. So then down here I've got this pumpkin dish. And actually, I don't know if I want the black one. Now I'm second guessing it. This one's so heavy um, because I also have the orange one. No, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, I think I don't like it because, like, I want the lid there, but I also don't. Maybe it'll look better with coffee beans in. smell of coffee beans is just my favorite so the idea was to have these in a bowl and then I can't find my big bag of tea lights so I've had to grab some old ones and then have those in there and light them and have the coffee aromas wafting uh, I don't know if I love it okay great do I put the lid on no don't like it. Great. I guess this could go elsewhere in the kitchen. Uh, everything is very much trial and error. Um, okay, so coming back over here, we now have essentially no mugs out. I like the top bit for now. I did put candy corn in this um, glass candy dispenser thing, which I like. Okay, I've now gotten to the point where I liked it. 
and then I added something and rearranged stuff and now I hate it. So <laughs> it's going well. <laughs>